you ain't black if you never ate this. What up, cool nerds? Welcome back to another video. Yo, it's been a minute, but I'm back. I'm back for real this time. I had a little vacation, was down in Florida, got some more tattoos. I'll show you them when they're a little bit more healed. They look kind of dusty right now. You look dusty. But cool nerds, you already know what time it is. We got to come back with a banger. And what better than that than a struggle meals? <laughs> So we're getting back on this channel, we're getting back on the gaming channel, we're gonna be streaming on Twitch as well, so you already know what time, we're, we're getting back to the content, for real this time. Bruh. Okay, but on a serious note, after like Hood Meals and Homeboy who was, you know, on the airplane cooking food and, and in the hotel making Struggle Meals, you don't think Struggle Meals can get any worse, but it can't. Oh my God. Okay, so before we jump into this, I'm, I need y'all to remember, if you don't remember, I need you to go back. I don't remember what video it was. It was like Struggle Meals Thanksgiving edition, where they were cooking those like raccoons or undead Resident Evil dogs in that pot. Think of the last one in this video, but 10 times, 100 times worse than what was in that pot. I'ma need y'all to just stick around. Y'all already know what to do. Smack that like button, sub with notifications on, let's get it. All right, so here we go. Starting lineup, first up, right? First at bat, Pfft. seafood boil. I mean, it's food and it's boiled, but I wouldn't deem this as a seafood boil at all. Like, what is this? Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna be straight up. I love seafood boils. I just love them. Like, if we date, we gotta go on seafood boil dates. You know what I mean? Like, and if you're allergic to seafood, get your weak immune system out of here. Okay, bye. Y'all remember on White Chicks when they were tearing up that food? That's me at seafood boils. Like, you know a seafood boil is good when you wear the gloves and stuff? You know, it's like literally the thinnest gloves ever. I be tearing through, I got the sauce on my fingertips. It, it don't even matter. This, I'm, mm. You so can't put it away. <laughs> But this quote unquote seafood boil right here, the more you look at it, the worse it gets. Cause I'm looking at this and I'm like, where's the seasoning? I zoomed in like at like 1500%. There's not one speck of seasoning on this table at all, right? And then I'm looking in the background, like who made it? And then I'm like, oh, oh, okay. And I don't mean to be stereotypical, but, but then I'm looking at the ingredients of the seafood boil, right? You got some corn in the cob, right? You got some scrimp. You got crawfish. And then I'm like, what's that? You got ravioli. I don't want no ravioli. And maybe I'm just, you know, bamboozled and don't know about this, this ingredient being thrown in there or this food th being thrown in there. But I've never been to a Southern restaurant where it's like, oh, they got crawfish, shrimp, you know, sausage, corn, potatoes, and then ravioli, That's, what? Do they do that down south? Am I, what? And it's like, y'all were almost there, right? But you ain't got no sauce or seasoning. Y'all just got table food and uh, hopes and dreams. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Oh, it's finna slap. Um, I mean, I hope it slap you in the next week, cause what is this? So apparently this is rice and turkey necks. To me, this looked like one of those ghost poops that be just disappearing on you like ain't no way this 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 slave food gotta go all right so i'm one of those people who are willing to try any culture's type of food right like but if your food gives me dookie vibes like come, this is doo, doo fried rice ain't no way <laughs> so i'm thinking this picture is the same thing as the last one but let's read this because it just looked a little bit more seasoned and sauced up right but this person said decide to buy food today i thought this was a big piece of chicken no it's ginger bro have y'all ever just ate a thing full of ginger? Because ginger has all these properties that help you with like coughs and just other like things that'll help you out, right? Bro, I feel like ginger is spicy. I, I'll be out here dead. Why is it spicy? And it's one of the worst feelings in the world when you think you're biting into a certain type of food and when you bite into it, it's not that food. Bro, I'm traumatized for life. I remember when I was a kid, I took a handful of what I thought were grapes and they were black olives. I'm like, what type of grapes are these? Like, imagine you, you think you got a chicken finger and you dip it into some barbecue sauce or some honey mustard or whatever you like, right? And it's ginger. I, I'm not only fighting people, I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> what the f Just made some fried fruity pebbles, chicken wings. Hey, you know, it's like black people. <laughs> What? Like, those are some of the best fries. We just gotta put that out there. Those type of fries, the best type of fries. So it's like top three, right? But let's get back to, let's get back to the issue, right? Who was like, hey, they had, you know, chicken grease in, in, in the uh, pot, right? And they were like, hey, slather this chicken up with some flour and some fruity pebbles. <laughs> three day devil old eggs. Okay, 
and they look decent. But the description says, three day devil old X, great fart fuel, $1 piece or six for $5. A little deal there. Serious inquiries only. I know what I got. This is wild. Like, imagine pulling up to somebody's car, like, hey, let me get a five piece or a six piece, whatever, right? Like, there's this is crazy. And they look decent, but I'm not pulling up to anybody's house for five deviled eggs or one for a dollar. And what's even crazy about this picture, it's sold. I don't know if it's all of them or or just one at a Like, this is crazy. Like, no way. Facebook Marketplace is not a real place. Not just finished cooking. Y'all want to play? A plate of what? What is this? What is it? What type? What type of soup is this? There's absolutely no way. Do people put peanuts like that? Like straight whole peanuts shell and everything in their soup or whatever this is trying to be, bro. And this whole smorgasbord of whatever is just 99% peanuts with the shell on. These nuts. Okay, y'all. So I need you just stick with me on this one. Just <laughs> stick with me, please. So listen to what she has to say. So my neighbor has been telling me for three weeks that he sells plates every Sunday. Cool, right? Everybody be trying to get their little hustle on time to whatever, right? I already knew I wasn't gonna eat it, but just to support, I bought a plate today. Got home and I opened it. This is a $20 plate, okay? Let's read what it says. Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, and shells. Life does not... There ain't no way. Look at this plate. This I'm telling y'all, and I say it every video we see like a, a Facebook marketplace or people selling plates type video. This is why the police officers be shutting the good people down on the streets who be selling like, you know, the hot dogs outside the stadium stuff because of this. You need a license, bro. And this is not licensed. Look, okay, look at the meatloaf. Meatloaf is part of the far from like the worst thing on the plate, right? Macaroni and cheese looks like you use like some sort of like acrylic paint for the cheese, yellow acrylic paint, right? Shells, whatever. And the mashed potatoes? Why are they that color? This look like like dirty, like snow. This is like slush. See, nah, bro. See, I'm, I'm gonna have to go get a refund. I don't need no receipt or nothing at all. Cause I, and I'm gonna need a refund with interest. Cause the, the money I'm getting back and then the interest is me just whooping your ass. <laughs> And my thing is, she said he been selling for at least three weeks, okay? Or asking her for three weeks to buy his food, right? My thing is, if you've been selling this for three weeks, can we check on the past customers? Are they alive? Are they in the hospital? Like, what, what pandemic's about to start because of this plate right here? This is, this is T-virus, all the type of viruses. I just can't get over this quote-unquote mashed potato. There ain't no way. This look like mashed fertilizer. Bro, and this is probably a wild comparison, but I be watching weird videos. Like I'm always watching like National Geographic type videos, animal type videos, bug videos, all that type of stuff. If you know, you know though. Have y'all ever seen those videos where the person who owns like a horse, they're trying to help the horse like with like pain or, or just shave their hoof down? Tell me this don't look like the dirt that come out the hoof. You ain't black if you never ate this. Okay. Black people in the comments, if you ate this before, let me know so I can report you. Like this, this got to be some form of harassment. Ain't no way. What is this? Like what? What is this? You got a whole T Rex arm in there, okay? Like, like where do you even go to order this? You just go like, let me get a a number five Jurassic Park combo. And you know how we always begin on people who eat like well done steaks, like and they they be you know trying to tear that steak up on the table and just earthquake. Bro, I don't, what is this? This gotta be tougher than diamonds trying to eat. This ain't no way. And it's always these crazy things talking about if you ain't black or if you ain't from, bro, if they talk about if you ain't black, bro, I start saying stuff like you on thin ice, buddy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So every once in a while, Facebook has some bangers. Like I feel like Facebook's one of the worst apps just because it's just all like your parents and old people and, and, and just drama. I'm here for the drama, like on Facebook. I, I know I'm getting off topic, but drama on Facebook is one of the best things. I'll be seeing baby mamas and baby daddies fighting and stuff. And then uh, just the other day, some girl who says she files taxes wasn't filing people's taxes and she had all these excuses. I'm in the comments just scrolling, just cracking up. Like it couldn't be me. But like I said, every once in a while, Facebook has a banger. And my thing is, Vegans be doing the most when it comes to food. They, they gotta let you know. Like, I don't go around telling people like, yo, I eat meat and, <laughs> and vegetables, pause, right? Like, no, we, no one cares, right? But there's a page called Elmwood Organic Dog Meat, okay? And it's satire, no one's selling dog meat, right? At least in America. Uh, but anyways, 
people are losing their mind because like i said it's it's your parents and all these old people who believe everything and those people who believe everything always think like they're gonna get like a, a 20 dollar gift card from like texas roadhouse that's fake like get off the internet like if you think this is real but anyways this page says we cut up a dry age locally raised golden retriever yesterday all the prime cuts will hit our farmer's market table this morning think rib steaks t-bone steaks sirloin steaks all manner of roast brisket short pup ribs stew dog meat tenderloin etc plus she uh sheila unlocked a new level perfect strings on her first try okay so let's look at this okay so everybody in the comments is losing their mind like this is disgusting how could you cut up a golden retriever blah 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 right but this is fake it, it's a it's a satirical page but the website is real they're selling real meat and i'm not talking like pet meat like you know what i mean but people are losing their minds, bro. But it's crazy what people who will do who are like vegans. They're going out of the way to make a dog meat, a satirical dog meat website that sells actual meat. This is wild. This is crazy. Don't play with me. I'm a beast on the grill, babe. Are these chicken wings or bat wings? Regardless, absolutely not. And they cook the wings so much on here that they're they're Pokemon shiny. They're like listen, they're they they straight up look like they got some sort of gloss on them. That this is crazy. I'm vengeance. Okay, this was in response to I, I don't even remember, but it's a pizza with like what is happening right now? The more I look at this, the more my brain just shuts down. Like my frontal lobe is just like nah nah two hours later bro i've been staring at this for like a good 10 minutes what is on this pizza i i can't it's bothering me i, I thought that was like corn in the cob but then it looks like holes like i got what's that one fear i bro i cannot please no so this dude ordered wings and fries drumsticks and fries or <laughs> what but my man is eating fried pigeon toes. Y'all know how they got like popcorn shrimp, you need a little couple of them. Like, bro, what do they have? Popcorn wings? Like, what is this? You could go to this place and order a 12 wing combo and it wouldn't even add up to one regular size wing. Okay, so look at the tip of his finger, right? And then look, look at the size of the wings. What? It's the same size. Nope. I'd have to call every agency possible. The CIA, FBI, FDA, PETA, everybody. And these be the same places that be like, yo, we're struggling, y'all. Support small business. Keith Lee, come over here, fam. I'm gonna be on the phone like, excuse me, they're over here selling capybara fingers. <laughs> Don't talk to me about struggle if you never ate off a pad. Maybe I'm tripping, but you know, I, the woman I've dated, I've picked up, you know, pads with tampons or whatever, but those are kind of expensive. I feel like you, you, you're you not struggling that much if you eating off pads. Like you really eating wings off coochie diapers with wings? Like wings on wings? That's crazy, bro. Using a pad as a plate is, what? Is this a struggle? No, this is just insane. There's no way. Like, it, do you pour your ranch right there on the pad and like dip it in? So now you got pad mouth. I just feel like you could have went about, you could have went about this a different way. There's no way. Like, what were you doing? Like fumbling through the cab then? Like, oh, oh yeah, we got some pads left. Here we go. We in luck, babe. And my thing is, is like, when you're struggling, it, you don't just stop struggling, you know, after the first time. You do the same thing multiple times. Like, you, you know, you eat ramen, like as a college student, you eat, you know, syrup sandwiches, whatever, right? Struggle meals, like regular struggle meals. But my thing is like, when you go to the store, you, you you in the tampon or the pad section you're like hey babe what size coochie should we get for uh the wings tonight kool-aid wings and fries we had the fruity pebble wings you know with fries now we got the kool-aid wings with fries and, and this is why no nah, this gotta be atlanta too y'all be just doing any type of restaurants with no type of like like food certification or anything just making up food ain't no way bro Hey, let me get the blue wings to go let me get the red wings to go like we, we all know we don't know the flavor we just red that's the flavor of the Kool-Aid. Hey, let me get Red Wings. No. What y'all know about these? Absolutely nothing. Next. <laughs> Just made some deviled eggs. I ain't gonna lie. These these definitely got the devil in them. Okay. This these these whatever this is been to hell and back. What it, what color is that, bro? Is it green, bro? I'll smack this whole plate out your hand. And let me find out. People are already eating these. Y'all, we're gonna read this and then we're gonna look at this picture, okay? I hate school and everything about it. I don't know what to do. I have no friends. I'm literally eating in the bathroom right now. Bro, 
and I'm big on anti-bullying, right? I've had people message me years after, years later after high school and say, hey, I appreciate you helping me out and standing up for me because it helped me not get bullied. I, I love stuff like that. But then like, you know, it, it makes me wonder like what these kids are going through sometimes because this picture right here is crazy. Y'all, eating, <laughs> eating in the bathroom around Dookie Particle Air? <laughs> Boy, this is a choice. You got one half of your sandwich on top of the toilet dispenser, okay? It's it's covered with like toilet paper, or uh, I'm sorry, paper towels, whatever, right? Then you got, you open up the toilet dispenser so you could put your sauces on there. Like that's, come on bro, just think about it. That's not even sauce anymore, that's runny dookie. Because you got dookie air all just, just everywhere around you. There's, you. there's no escape, because you know people be blowing it up in school bathrooms, just public bathrooms in general. Bro! Get out of the bathroom. And like I said before, when it comes to struggle, it doesn't happen just once. Like he got a whole setup right here. Like they do this on the regular, right? But my thing is usually when you go to the bathroom or, or at work or school, you go there for a break to go on your phone or like be on TikTok, Instagram, just a text message like, well, cause some schools have like a no phone policy or whatever, right? Uh, even work. But like this person does this on the regular, right? And you know for a fact, when you go on break and you're not even using the bathroom, you just sit on the toilet, like, you know, texting, doing whatever, right? There comes a person in there with the strongest of bubble guts. They be coming in there and they are the real Duke ears, right? The real Duke, they be blowing it up next to you. And imagine that happening while you eating the sandwich. Girl, that's a booty hole. Just a little something to take the edge off. Now, we see this buffalo wing margarita martini. I don't know what this is, right? But what's crazy about this is that with the whole presidency thing coming up, Trump and Biden will like do this with black people and they'll look at the camera like, boy, if you don't get- Bro, what? Our first date? Absolutely not. This is why I don't like fancy restaurants, bro. And whether this is like satire or troll or not, there's no way. Because a restaurant like this will be like, hey, this is our house special, right? And this will be a thousand bucks with inflation. Absolutely not. This looks like an Adams Family dinner. Did you know that I can see you? Yummy, I made myself some dino nuggets. This is the blackest of all black, okay? This is the blackest I've ever seen dino nuggets in my entire life. This looked like Armageddon happened three times over. Like, the, the dinosaurs got hit by 20 meteors at, at once, and they were just like... <laughs> okay, y'all, <laughs> we're here. <laughs> we're here, y'all. <laughs> This has got to be top five, maybe even top three worst things we've seen on Struggle Meals. This is could be worse than Hood Meals and like I said, the dude who be cooking in the hotel uh, bathroom, right? Um, I need y'all to just look at this. And if you're new here, don't eat during Struggle Meals. Don't eat before, don't eat like even 15 minutes after. And if you did, <laughs> yo bad. What more do you want from me? I can't do this with my teeth then. Motherfucker, don't you tell nobody. No, no, they got you. I ain't telling nobody. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't know for more, too. I'll see you. Look. <laughs> you bite off. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I put it in my mouth. Oh, you took a bite. <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> Like, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to say. Y'all, so <laughs> there's just so much to take in right here, bro. There's so much to take in. So I'm looking at this, right? And it's like, bro, the setting in general looks like an abandoned house, like, you know, it, or, or whatever they're at, a, a storefront or something like, they just abandoned it eons ago, right? This animal, this pet, this, you know, cat, raccoon, I don't know what that was, but she was going to town on a, like, you know, 300 year old carcass. Like, bro, this looked like that taxidermy cat from like, you know, a, a few uh, episodes back. This is crazy. This is, she was chewing on it. And my thing is, this was all bones. I'm surprised she didn't like prick her mouth or something like that. This is, no. And then they, she just tossed it to the side, like, hey, whatever. Not like, we're not gonna clean up this place, right? It's dirty. This is, no. And then after she was done trying to like, I, I guess chew or whatever, she like pulled back, look, I guess we got a little meat right here. Like, what? Bro, this is how I be eating wings at the restaurant, right? Like, but a dead animal? That's not even, it don't even look cooked. Like what? This looks like it was just rotting. Like, and it was rotting for a long time. And she, what? 
And then she just walked off. Just walked off like it was just a normal day on the job. And then I'm so grossed out, bro, I'm so grossed out that I didn't realize that she was chewing this with just gums only at first. She was chewing bones with gums only. Like, and then she put her teeth back in like, oh, I got it now. And like, as big as a germaphobe as I am, like there's just so much to take in, bro. There's just so, bro, you're, you're touching this with your hands. You got your fake teeth in there with your mouth. Like, bro, you are chewing on this old end. Ain't no way, I don't know what to say about this. If you do this type of stuff, just throw yourself in jail. You, you turn yourself in right now. Are all nerds as good as you? <laughs>